subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for Salesforce Education Cloud Consultant. So let's get started. Question number 1, Who is a Salesforce Education Cloud Consultant? Your answer is. A Salesforce Education Cloud Consultant is a person who designs and deploys solutions using Salesforce Education Cloud. He or she has experience designing solutions that optimize Education Cloud functionality, and can lead the implementation of these solutions within the education industry. They also have experience consulting within the education industry and has expertise in Salesforce applications, including the knowledge needed to implement multiple applications in common customer scenarios. Question number 2. What should one consider for an ETL tool to gain maximum benefit from data synchronization? Your answer is. First, chain and sequence the ETL jobs to provide a cohesive process. Second, use primary keys from both systems to match incoming data. Third, use specific API methods to extract only updated data. Lastly, any post-import processing, such as triggers, should only process data selectively. Question number 3, what is the use of Metadata API? Your answer is, Metadata API is used to deploy changes programmatically. You can retrieve, deploy, create, update, and delete customization information for your org, such as experience cloud sites, custom object definitions, and page layouts. Moreover, using Metadata API is ideal when the changes are complex or when you need a more rigorous change management process and an audit process to manage multiple work streams. Question number 4. Define reverse proxy server? Your answer is. A reverse proxy is a server that sits in front of web servers and forwards client requests to those web servers. Reverse proxies are typically implemented to help increase security, performance, and reliability. Question number 5. What do you understand by event-driven architecture? Your answer is. An ED decouples event message consumers from event message producers, allowing for greater scale and flexibility. Question number 6. What is the use of error handling? Your answer is. All the remote call-in methods, standard or custom AP is, require the remote system to handle any subsequent errors, such as timeouts and the management of retries. Middleware can be used to provide the logic for error handling and recovery. Question number 7. What are master detail relationships? Your answer is. Closely links objects together such that the master record controls certain behaviors of the detail and subdetail record. For example, you can define a two-object master detail relationship, such as account, expense report, that extends the relationship to subdetail records, such as account, expense report, expense line item. Question number 8. Define many-to-many -many relationships? Your answer is. A many-to-many -many relationship allows each record of one object to be linked to multiple records from another object and vice versa. Moreover, one can use master detail relationships to model many-to-many -many relationships between any two objects. Question number 9. What are lookup relationships? Your answer is. Lookup relationships are similar to master detail relationships, except they don't support sharing or roll-up summary fields. The main objective of lookup relationships is to link two objects together. Question number 10. Explain external lookup relationships? Your answer is. An external lookup relationship links a child standard, custom, or external object to a parent external object. When you create an external lookup relationship field, the standard external ID field on the parent external object is matched against the values of the child's external lookup relationship field. Moreover, external object field values come from an external data source. Question number 11. What do you understand by indirect lookup relationships? Your answer is. An indirect lookup relationship links a child external object to a parent standard or custom object. 
Moreover, when you create an indirect lookup relationship field on an external object, you specify the parent object field and the child object field to match and associate records in the relationship. Question number 12, what is a hierarchical relationship? Your answer is, a hierarchical relationship is a special lookup relationship available for only the user object. It lets its users to use a lookup field to associate one user with another that does not directly or indirectly refer to itself. Question number 13, what is streaming API? Your answer is, Streaming API is used for streaming of events using push technology and provides a subscription mechanism for receiving events in near real time. The Streaming API subscription mechanism supports multiple types of events, including push topic events, generic events, platform events, and change data capture events. Question number 14. What do you understand by push technology? Your answer is, push technology also known as the publish or subscribe model, transfers information that is initiated from a server to the client. It is the opposite of pull technology that requests for information that is made from a client to a server. Question number 15. Define event-driven software architecture? Your answer is, an event-driven software architecture consists of event producers, event consumers, and channels. The architecture is suitable for large distributed systems because it decouples event producers from event consumers, thereby simplifying the communication model in connected systems. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.